In this video I am going to tell you top 10 steps of yoga that keeps you healthy and fit. First of all what is yoga? The yoga courses frequently conclude in this stance, much like in real life. Although it offers for a brief period of relaxation, some people find it challenging to maintain this stance. But the more times you practice this stance, the simpler it is to enter a peaceful, calming state. This serene stance makes an excellent default pause. Before moving on to your next posture, you might take a moment to relax and refocus in child's pose. It relaxes your spine, shoulders, and neck while gently stretching your lower back, hips, thighs, knees, and ankles. When you want to give your neck, spine, and hips a pleasant, gentle stretch. If you have ankle or knee issues, avoid it. Avoid if you are pregnant or of high blood pressure. Modify, on a cushion or block, you can put your head down. If your ankles are hurting, you can put a towel folded up underneath them. Be aware, pay attention to releasing your lower back and spinal muscles while you breathe. Downward facing dog stretches your hamstrings, calves, and foot arches while strengthening your arms, shoulders, and back. Back pain might also be relieved by it. Do it, to assist in easing back discomfort. Avoid it, if you have high blood pressure, carpal tunnel syndrome, other wrist issues, or are in the last stages of pregnancy, you should avoid this posture. To lighten the strain on your wrists, you can do the position with your elbows flat on the floor. Blocks beneath your hands are another option that could feel more cozy. Be careful, lifting your hips up and back, away from your shoulders, and adequately spreading the weight through your hands should be your main concerns. Plank is a common exercise that strengthens the core, shoulders, arms, and legs. Try it, if you want to strengthen your upper body and tone your abs, plank stance is a wonderful choice. Avoid it, if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, avoid plank stance. It could be difficult on your wrists. If you have low back discomfort, you might also omit it or alter it. Alternate, you may alter it by bending your knees. Be mindful, as you perform a plank, picture the extension of your spine and the back of your neck. Four Limbed Staff Pose This push-up variant comes after plank posture in the sun salutation, a popular yoga sequence. If you want to ultimately work on more challenging poses, such arm balances or inversions, this is a fantastic stance to practice. Do it, this posture, like plank, strengthens the arms, wrists, and belly. If you are pregnant, have lower back discomfort, shoulder pain, or carpal tunnel syndrome, avoid it. Maintaining your knees on the floor is a wonderful suggestion for beginners to adjust the position. Be careful, while maintaining this stance, lift your shoulders off the mat and press your hands equally onto the floor. Cobra Pose This backbend position stretches the chest, shoulders, and belly while also strengthening the back muscles and improving spinal flexibility. Try it, this post will help you strengthen your back. Avoid it, if you have carpal tunnel syndrome neck or spine arthritis, a low back injury, or any of these conditions. Modify, don't try to straighten your arms, simply pull up a few inches. Be careful, as you maintain this stance, try to keep your navel pulling up and away from the floor. Tree Pose It not only strengthens your core, ankles, calves, thighs, and spine, but it also helps you balance. Do it, great for improving posture and balance. If you have low blood pressure or any other medical issues that impair your balance, you may want to omit this position. Modify, to provide support, place one of your hands on a wall. Keep your breathing in and out in mind while you hold this stance. Triangle Pose Many yoga sequences include the triangle pose, which serves to stretch the hips, spine, chest, shoulders, groins, hamstrings, and calves while also strengthening the legs. The neck and hips can both become more mobile with its assistance. Do it, this position is excellent for increasing stamina and strength. Avoid it, if you have a headache or low blood pressure, stay away from this stance. Modify, in the last position, tilt your head to look downward if you have high blood pressure. If you have neck issues, keep your neck long and gaze straight ahead instead than turning your head to look up. Keep raising your lifted arm up toward the ceiling while being alert. It keeps the position bouncy. Seated Half Spinal Twist Pose 
while extending the shoulders, hips, and chest. This twisted position can help your back become more flexible. Additionally, it might aid in easing back pain in the midsection. Do it, to loosen up the upper and lower back, as well as the stiff shoulders. If your back is hurt, avoid it. The right knee should be kept straight in front of you if bending it causes discomfort. Be careful to lift your body with each inhalation and rotate it with each exhalation. Bridge Pose The chest, back, and neck muscles are stretched in this backbend position. Additionally, the back and hamstring muscles get stronger. Do it, this position will aid in opening your upper chest if you spend most of the day sitting down. Avoid it, if you have a neck injury, stay away from this position. Modify, to assist in maintaining the appropriate alignment of the legs and feet, place a block between your thighs. If your lower back hurts, you can also put a block beneath your pelvis. Be careful, try to maintain a raised chest and a sternum that is pointing toward your chin while performing this position. Corpse Pose Yoga courses frequently conclude in this stance, much like in real life. Although it offers for a brief period of relaxation, some people find it challenging to maintain this stance. But the more times you practice this stance, the simpler it is to enter a peaceful, calming state. Activate, always. Avoid it, if you don't want to enjoy a moment of tranquility. Modify, in case it makes you feel more comfortable, put a blanket beneath your head. If your lower back hurts or is sensitive, you can roll up a blanket and position it beneath your knees. Be careful, one section of your body at a time, feel it sinking into your mat. Thanks for watching please like and share my video and subscribe my channel.